Hello, welcome back everybody. Uh, I was going to do shotgun video next, but uh, I do have a, a hundred year old uh, box lock. Uh, this is an American 1920 box lock. We'll get to that in the next video. Uh, I'm just in the reassembly process on it, but what I mainly wanted to do in this video was hit the differences between the Model 81 and the Model 81 BB Berettas that are currently available out there. Uh, I've had a lot of questions on the differences and uh, so I'm going to bring them out here side by side, show you the external differences, explain the internal differences a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to actually pull them apart and show them to you because I don't have room on my bench. But uh, And then we'll do a trigger pull gauge on them. There's a lot of interest in if the triggers are better on the model uh, 81 rather than the 81 BB because of the internal drop safety that the model uh, 81 BB has. It has a uh, firing pin safety in it, a little firing pin block, much like the Colt uh, series, uh, 70 and 80 series. A lot of people claim that the uh, the added safety on the firing pin was detrimental to the trigger pulls to it uh, took the smoothness out of them and uh, made them heavier because there's extra parts moving in there to uh, disengage that firing pin so what are the external differences well first of all I'm just gonna have to hand hold these and hopefully we'll just go over them and discuss them real quick we're not gonna actually measure or anything uh, and dimensionally they're very identical However, the uh, the BB version, which is the black grips, has a slightly thicker and heavier slide. Uh, the flats on it are narrower by about oh three one hundredths or three tenths rather in height wise on the flats, but in width it is actually a little bit wider and a little bit heavier. And now the the BB version in the black grips actually has more of a, a 92 look to it. The Beretta 92 FS or uh, whichever version you have of that gun. Um, and I prefer that and the heavier slide and the more modern aspects of it. Uh, simply because the trigger pulls to me are not that great but we'll get into that in a minute with a trigger pull gauge and see what we can do on that see if we can get some of the reading on that the uh, 81 has been through a cleaning process totally taken apart this just had a preliminary the BB has had a preliminary cleaning so we've got to take that into consideration in this test the BB version has been let me adjust my light a little bit here so get rid of some glare. Uh, it's just started its cleaning process, but I've oiled all the major points on it. It has not been apart yet as far as a deep cleaning, but we've taken it down, field stripped it, and done a good cleaning that way on it. So, what are the external differences other than the slide thickness? Well, the slide serrations. I mentioned that in the last video. You can see the the BB has little longer slide serrations just on the that's it on the rear of it uh, it has on the back strap these have been safety checked because I'm going to be pulling the trigger so they are cleared you can see the BB has the lined back strap where the uh, 81 just has a smooth back strap other things being equal it is they just look the same the safeties are the same the uh, the slide locks are the same and dimensionally a little difference in the, sl the slide itself So, the triggers are the same. They both have lined triggers. 
Now internally, there's a couple more differences than what is external. Oh, and then of course the sights are different. We explained that in the first one. Uh, we have white outline sights on the uh, the BB version, the more modern version. You can kind of see that white and just a black sight. And they're milled a little different into the slide and uh, slightly wider on the white dot sights on the BB version. But uh, the notches are the same. They're still pretty fine sights. And internally, uh, the uh, recoil, the uh, rod, the recoil spring rod is actually sh designed a little differently. The takedown levers are designed a little bit differently. Some people claim that the uh, 81 is harder to put to back together after a field strip. I find that the opposite is quite is true. I have a harder time lining up the barrel and the the rod on the uh, the BB version. Uh, and of course the BB has a firing pin block in it a little more mechanical action that has to take place pulling them side by side in double action I can find that the BB is just a hair uh, rougher than the uh, the 81 model to my not very sensitive fingers I suppose but uh, with those things in mind on the internal differences, uh, let's put the trigger pull gauge on it real quick and we'll see what we get. We'll go through the, uh, the Model 81 first. I'll do it in single action and I'll try and do this as fairly as I can so we get a good pull here. I'll just got my Timony spring gauge here and we'll just make certain I'm not touching anything. I had this trouble earlier. I'm not getting a straight pull here. There we go. It was actually on the slide release. Let's try that again. I don't know what I am hitting here. There we go. There's a good pull. Uh, just four and a quarter pounds we'll pull that again and it's exactly the same point about four and a quarter pounds that's the single action pull on the 81 four and a quarter pounds now let's go with the uh, 81 BB see what I get five pounds exactly five pounds exactly so yeah single pull action there is uh, a difference the BB has three quarters of a pound more all right let's switch to uh, the double action pull and see what we get there all right safety is off and get on the bottom of the trigger a little more difficult here and I'm at 10 pounds do that again overs nine and three quarter pounds so we're looking at close to ten pounds on the uh, 81 now let's try double action safety off definitely nine and a half pounds and 
and almost 10 pounds so the double action trigger pull very very similar as I said the BB version is actually nine and three quarters pounds almost identical so where I'm seeing on my gauge there is actually the single action pull is about three quarters of a pound heavier on the BB version five pounds versus uh, about four to four and four and a half approximately uh, but double action uh, virtually the same right around the 10 pound nine and three quarters 10 pound mark on both of them so not that much of a difference in them in uh, according to my gauge and that's on an, uh, an uncleaned internally deep cleaning on the uh, on the BB version so just simply not that much difference a little bit in the single action pull but that could be just due to differences of how much the guns have been fired and uh, how clean this one is so very slight so there it is that's about the best I can do on explaining the differences between the 81 and the 81 BB they're slight but significant so uh, I just noticed one other th uh, I thought it was a difference but now I see it's not we do have red cocking indicators or loaded chamber indicators uh, when the uh, extractor is in the out position when there's a, a round in the chamber there's a red dot on the top of it but I see there's also one on the uh, I can see just a little bit of the red showing on the uh, BB version so they both have that so not a difference but thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more fun videos in the future <laughs>